one of the things that I um, wanted to mention about bringing David on here is this is something that we're going to be kind of bringing to you with Parallel North is a little feel of the area around here and what we're all about mm -hmm. um, as a production and a, um, you know promotional media. Um, David's a solo guitarist and he's going to sit down and tell us a little bit about that and some of his uh, music and pretty much going to kick it from there and um, basically tell us what's going down man. No, what's going down is uh, I'm getting back into it after a long hiatus from the business. Been hanging out in the woods and all that shit. Yeah. Well, how long you been on a hiatus? Hmm, I'd have to say about 20 years. What made you want to get uh, back on the scene and, and rock and roll and uh, getting back out there? I mean, well, what's, what's going on with all that? I've always had that in my heart. It's always been there, and I've always worked towards it. Uh, Outside of the scene, of course, I took a break to really get my head together and clear it out and start over again from fresh. Um, my goal has always been to do a solo stint, which is uh, what I did in this record. What was that we heard? But it was what's coming on outside of Haley's. Haley's Con. Okay. I wrote that back in 2000. I want to say it was seven on that actually. You know, we mentioned I think 2008. It was 2007 February. I wrote that uh, in Central Lake, Michigan, yeah. in the basement. Nice. So I locked myself away. You locked yourself away in a basement, hot on it, in all good old Central Lake, man. Oh, um, that's probably a pretty good place to be inspired. It's pretty down there, and quiet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is now, yeah. now where? Tell me where. Um, is that where? Is that where you grew up, and where are you from? I'm actually from uh, north of Detroit, Sterling Heights. Mm. Okay. Good old Sterling Heights. So you went to school down there. You graduated down there. All that stuff. Right. Or? Right. So you yeah. should say I didn't graduate, though. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm long well, hey, you know, that's uh, what it is. But so what brought you up to the, you know, to Northern Michigan up here in the northwest corner there in the mid? Well, I was introduced to Northern Michigan by a family member back in, uh, I want to say 1986. And I was just, I fell in love with it. The peace, the atmosphere, the relaxation up here. Everybody's just good to get along with. I wanted to get away from the stress of the city for a while, you know. Yeah. Well. But. Okay. Yeah, I, I dabbled down down in the Kalamazoo area for about six years, so I get what you're saying about uh, you know, me being from up here. Um, you know, it's easy to come back to, but yeah, mm -hmm. I can see liking it up here also. Um. So basically, you got you had a band. I mean, what's your what's some of the some of the story down some of the backstory on uh, the rock and roll guy that is you. Okay. The new uh, latest is uh, Just Me, I call the project the North Rock Project. Okay. Uh, my thought was they have a band named North Rock and I would just write the songs and we'd be able to do it. And uh, that's basically that in a nutshell. I do all original, I do, uh, my playing is, is more or less, I, could, I guess we could say, uh, what's the word for it? In, not intuitional, more or less intuitional. Improv improvise. I'm a good improvisationalist, if that's the word for it. Improv artist, huh? Improv artist. Just uh, crank it out, improvisation, crank that's a word, like you said. Writing the songs. I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> if not, we made it up here on Parallel North. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. One of the things that I wanted to ask you um, that, that I, when I had originally met you is uh, when did the North Project start? I'm a kind of a music guy and I didn't, wasn't really familiar with it. Um, sorry, I am. I love the music, love the sound. Well, it started, uh, the name came early in the 2000 zeros. Where we in? I want to say about that. In the early millennium. Early <laughs> millennium, yeah. Okay, well, all right. So, therefore, you know, then you but, how many people were in the band at that time? It was just me. Okay. With this day. Okay. Um, it actually started, though, in 19, uh, no, not 19, 2007. And that's when I started to lay down the tracks for the North Rock, what I called the North Rock, uh, what was it, North Rock's Adventures. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I like the sound of that. I mean, it sounds cool. Um, I'm sorry, it was actually the uh, um, Adventures of North Rock. Adventures of North Rock, okay. And is there any of that material around out there in the world? or? Yes, it is. Uh, I have a successful MySpace page. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the dilemma I heard. Oh, the that, dilemma. That, you know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's not really a big thing either. 
it's just uh, <laughs> yeah, it is and it's not. Well, and hey, if it is, it is, right? Yeah, right, if it is, it is. Um, I'm working promoting all this music on MySpace, doing really good. I got up to the thirty thousand mark on fans, and all of a sudden, I think my goal was a hundred thousand, by the way. All of a sudden, MySpace decided to shut it down. It was no longer there. I went back to do something on it, and I couldn't get in. It no longer existed. So I had thought, well, am I going to scream and cry about this, or am I going to just get back to work and start a new page? Well, I took the ladder, started a new page up. I got close to that, not quite, though. Uh, MySpace, of course, kind of squirreled out on everyone, so I'm no longer with MySpace. I'm on Facebook. But the site is still there. I can add to it if anyone wants to go see it. What is that? The MySpace page? The MySpace, MySpace page is North Rock Solo Guitars. Okay. That's MySpace. MySpace. Okay. MySpace. Yeah, I, you know what? I mean, I think we all still have a MySpace page, if you will. I actually check mine. I always love my music on there, and no, I always yes. like to be creative with it. You know, not that we're plugging MySpace, but it was a lot of fun. And it was. It fell off quickly as it came on. It, it did. Like, it came on strong, um, too. And, you know, and now we're in the Facebook world, and, and uh, tell us a little about, about about that. You know, I mean, what's going on and, and, uh, and, and stuff. It looks like you're, we're going to get you going on a page. Yeah. Yeah, oh God, it's got a gonna, page there. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna get that um, banging. Right, it's been sitting there, and I do have a page, North Rock Solar Guitars on Facebook. Um, yeah, I've just been sitting there waiting for the day, which is coming here, to uh, start plugging everything. Well, one of the uh, another thing I wanted to ask you also, why I had you here, is. What is your plans for this summer? Do you have any? Are you looking to do any booking? Are you looking to reach out for any audience? Or, I mean, are, are yes. you, what's, what's on the hit parade for David C. Anderson? Yeah, I'm looking at uh, getting back out there and taking it by storm. I okay. want to play. I want to get up in front of the audience. There's nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. I want to kick out the jams. Kick out the jams. Right. Now, is this something that you can do solo yourself? Are you willing to do? Uh, are you looking for anybody? You're searching. I mean, what's what's on the curriculum? Are you just is this a completely a solo gig? Uh, well, you know, it uh, it was originally planned like that, but right now I'm interested in getting to the music community and taking on some friends with the project and you know doing being quite versatile. So you're approachable. Yeah, I'm approachable. Okay, you know, well, you know, there you have it, folks. If you, uh, you know, you want to throw him an email or something like that, look him up. Um, get in there. If you have musicians or artists, anybody you uh, welcome to, fans. Um, you can, or you can also contact him through Parallel North at uh, at Facebook, or you can email us. There's lots of ways to get a hold of um, um David and get some of his music. You can go over to the Tumblr account on Parallel North. Mm -hmm. uh, we blog over there. Um, we also affiliate with uh, Morgana in the morning. Which is out of the uh, uh, New York. Um, great player, good, got a good little program going on herself, which we'll uh, which we'll be um, sharing this over there with. You know, she does a live um, morning program, goes all over the place. Um, spectacular artwork and great designs. Very and good. I'll tell her a little bit about that. How, how did you like that? Shit, that's fantastic. She's she's definitely a top notch artist when it comes to this shit. Kind of gives you a good personal feel. Yeah, it? it does. It does. Yeah. And the shots that she um, did up are excellent. Yeah, the Dark Goddess, you know, you know what, she, what she's doing over there, um, you know, she does my parallel. She's strictly right now, right now as we speak, is totally all, you know, my, she does my art, the Parallel North Icons. Anything we need backdrop gets scrubbed through her. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and a lot of times, you know, it's, it ends up coming out nicely. So. Um, yes, man. What's on that? So tell me a little bit about um, your guitar playing. What kind of guitar you play? You know, what inspired you? Who's some of your background artists? You know, I mean, give me a little feel. Like, what are you all about on that stage? Well, basically, I, I prefer Ibanez, and that's my guitar choice. And uh, I like the feel of it, the ease, and the sound, of course. Um, as far as my background. Um, basically, I go I, I go back to the psychedelic era, Jimi Hendrix, in particular, and a number of others that I won't mention. You know, so I can't remember. And, and that guitar, so so kind of production guy here, yeah. top quality. Um, he always makes sure we look good. 
from thank all you, kinds sir. of different thank perspectives. You oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. You can feel more at home here. Yeah, there it is. I mean, that gave you a little field there. This is what it's all. So what you got there, and what you got, kind of weapon is that you this got This is there? an Ibanez. This is actually, uh, may even be a collector's item. No, I don't know. It's the uh, EX series, made in Korea. Yeah. And after that, they, they switched it to China, I think. Okay, tell me a little bit about that. I mean, what's in so well, I'm, I'm, What's the difference? I mean, is there a difference? I mean, no, we always make fun of China. This is the predecessor. Made yeah. made China. Right. This is the predecessor of the RG series, from what I understand. Now, if I'm wrong, let me know. There you have it, folks. If you're out there and you're a rock and roller, um, we got a guitar here. It's, it looks pretty awesome. Sounds good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, as far as my influences go, I'd have to say. Um, of course, Jimi Hendrix is always there. Um, through the years, Eddie Van Halen is excellent guitar playing. Uh, lately, I've been concentrating, well, I'd have to say within the past 20 years, I've been listening to uh, Satriani and Steve Vai. I just love those guys. They're out there doing it, and they're doing it good. And outside of that, I'd say my influence is pretty much... Uh, I've got so many... Guitar players that I just love. Um, Alex Lifeston from Rush. Back in the day, he was pretty good. And is it even now? Um, let's think here. I got, uh, oh, oh, metal. We love heavy metal, of course. Ozzy, you know, you name it. Big fan, Ozzy, if you're watching this. <laughs> Cool. So what if, you have, if I were to, you know, um, you know, gun to the head, he had to make a decision. Um, <laughs> what kind of label? What, 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 what is your, what, what is your brand? I, um, I call it. I would call it um, psychedelic acid rock uh, underground. Let's let's say underground metal. No, I, I have to have some of the past in it. I would mean, throw psychedelic. Yeah. Metal. Yeah. When I feel it, it's emotional to me. I, you know, I, I like that. And man, I'm that. You know, the biker inside of me likes to hear that. You know, there's yes. just something about that. And um, it sounds like tall gear music. You know, mm -hmm. go through the gears, get up there loud and proud, go fast. Um, you know, to me, it feels emotional. Right. I like that. Right. Um, you know, it, it is heavy metal. I will say that it's, it's pretty, mm -hmm. um, which I like. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, you know, I I like it. You know, I think I think people can grasp to it. Um, is it for everybody? No, nothing's for. Not everything is for everybody. No, of course not. But um, is it cool? Like yeah, absolutely. And I and I and that's why I'm happy to get it out there. Um, one of the things that I'd like to see, I'd like to see it. Um, you know, the jam. You know, I'd like to see more artists do their individual jam. Um, I don't think people need to actually go down to the bar and sell it out for four hours. Mm -hmm. Um, why not book a window and you know, see what it brings in and, yeah. you know, go from there or, or open mic night and give people a platform to, to push themselves. And we're um, working on that. And, um, you know, with, with David here, uh, we're going to spin it around and, you know, we got a top, top shelf player to, uh, to do it with. So I, I like that. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. So what are one of the things that you're interested in besides for, um, you know, music? Who, who, who are you? You know, what do you do? Who am I? What do I do? Well, I gotta think now. What do I do? You know what? I mean, what do you do for fun? You got any hobbies besides music? I mean, yeah. Hey, who I'm are you as a person? Hanging out with the babes. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Now that's I'm always good times. A lot of good friends out there. Good. Yes. Good. Um. Oh, I like getting out to nature. The woods are like rocking for me. Yeah. Big time. You hunt or fish or anything like I, that? I hunt you... and I fish. Okay. Uh, not recently in the past couple of years, but I'll be getting back to that. Nice. What are you um, what are you looking to do um, when you do get you know going? What kind of venues are you looking to play? I mean, you, you, are you looking to do something just privately? Are you looking to do internet music? Or are, you, are you looking to kind of get out there? And, and I heard you say you like to get back in front of an audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I'll be working with you, and yeah, you've got some pretty darn good ideas. Well, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate that. Uh, Basically, when I want to get back on stage, and wherever this man can take me, I will go. I, I thank you, and I have uh, um, faith in this man. <laughs> well, I am. Yep. Yeah. I thank you kindly. I appreciate those good words, and I don't want to let anybody down um, from from my perspective in Parallel North. And 
we're going to push it. We're going to push it hard. And anybody who knows uh, me, you, you know it's going to happen. The question is, is uh, you know, what's going to come out of it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I look forward to that. The future looks great. Uh, me too. And uh, this is Damien Lash with Sit Down with David C. Anderson, a solo guitarist from uh, Northern Michigan. We're going uh, to get it out there. Yes, we are. Any last words? Last words. Uh, I love you all out there. I really wanted to share my music with you. And um, who knows? I might be playing in a band. My influence may go off into the band mode, which is good. That, that I would love. Well, you keep your eye peeled for David C. Anderson. Remember the name. Remember the sound. Check it out. We got it shared all over Parallel North. It's on the, it's on the Tumblr. It's on Facebook. It's, uh, it's out there. Uh, yes. Please don't be, uh, be shy and hearing in it. And look forward to seeing him around. Enjoy your day. As always, have a good one.